All right, let's talk about lightning. So I'm going to show you three different tacticals to use and uh, how to use a class properly, how to have fun with the class, and how to be more utility based with the class. Okay, so first of all, um, this is not my best gear. I'm not going to be trying to min max my gear uh, for this one video, but basically all you need is one gathering storm. Um, and it's enough to get your alacrity where it needs to be possibly throw an alacrity augment in it and you'll be just fine Everything else needs to be crit 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 lots of crit lots of crit. Okay, so let's talk about the tree real quick on the tree Doesn't matter what you pick but for this first one you will need to have volt rush and you will need to have Suppressive current the rest whatever. Let's talk about what it does so what you're trying to do for this entire uh, rotation is trying to get this proc here called lightning storm and it will make li chain lightning glow so there's three rays to proc that you can proc with thundering blast you can proc it with force storm and you can proc it with volt rush volt rush is from this tactical here elemental convection and also i forgot there's a fourth way yes lightning bolt um so two moves that you're never going to use are um forced lightning and saber strike so let me emphasize this one more time this is not how you play the class this is how to have fun with the class this is how to do lots of aoe damage to light enemies that's all it's not really how to maximize your damage i'm not going to use crushing darkness and i'm not going to use recklessness or polarity shift because i literally don't care about the damage that they put out, that those put out so let's uh find these enemies here looks like we got some people in the area that pre proc and you will see that if people are close together of nice little friendly damage to your friends all right let's go ahead and proc this guy's proc so Today. okay so we're gonna where you're gonna start to have problems is if you have a silver enemy or a gold enemy you're really not going to do the damage you need to take them down. So here's a here's a grobbler, which is uh, going to be a, a gold enemy. You're gonna you're gonna struggle just a little bit on those. So uh, this is not really for mega damage on those kinds of enemies. As you can see, a nice pretty AOE thing going on. And that's all it really does is AOE damage. Actually, I'm going to have to use Affliction because this skin is going to kill me. <laughs> Alright, so this is the fun way to play. As soon as this thing dies, we'll go to the... I'll show you how to really play the class. Alright, let's go to Stronghold. Alright, that is the AoE way to play it. Things that are not silver or gold, they die very quickly. All right, let's look at Stormwatch. So you'll see people using this um, tactical called Stormwatch, and that is the correct one. It um, it applies Stormwatch when you use Lightning Flash, and Affliction, Crushing Darkness, and Thundering Blast will all reset Affliction, which is a good thing. And it takes extra damage. Uh, I'm sorry, it just takes extra damage. What resets it is um, Crushing Darkness and Hold it Offensive, I think. It could be Thundering Blast. Something resets it. So you only have to put Affliction on target one time. Let's look at the con the, the tree. Uh, everything down the middle. Pick the this one on the left and the one on the bottom on the right. No, that's it. Straight down the middle. That's it. Straight down the middle. Um, pick what you want. Read them. I'm going to take your focus your attention here on Surging Speed. This will reset your... Force speed if you use your god bubble. That is a good one because you can have two force speeds in a row. That's really cool because force speeds procs things. And you'll want to take unlimited power because you are the only one with that. The other two uh, sort classes need to take either... Um, they need to take something else. That, that's not... That's for the for the sort to take. All right, let's dumb this down. Make it weaker. And let's see what else. Let's look at the... Uh, what these tacticals do. These are your two tacticals you want to you want to grab because your force force speed works with these, and it will it will help recklessness and polarity shift uh, come off. I'm sorry, polarity shift come off cooldown. You will be using both of those two on cooldown as often as they come off cooldown. 
and um, let's talk about the strengths of this class. It is a 30 meter class. Most of its abilities are 35, some are 30, very long range class. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, share something with you that, that you want to avoid. So you can proc, same thing. You're gonna, what you're gonna do in this rotation here is you're gonna try to get Halt Offensive to proc as often as possible. Same three ways to do it is gonna be your Lightning Bolt, your Thundering Blast, and uh, Four Storm Looted as well. So I would encourage you not to precast your Halted Offensive because you want to let the tank grab aggro. You want to go ahead and let that tank get it. And if you're supposed to open with unlimited power, get ready to drop threat with Cloud Mine because you can pull aggro. This counts as healing, not only as um, it counts as healing because you're giving everybody 10% of their health on top of their own health. So it's a lot of healing. You're doing eight eight healers, uh, eight, eight players healed, 16 players healed, 24 players healed, all that extra healing means more threat. Plus you're doing all this bursty opener damage. So you will probably pull threat off of the boss, I mean off of the tank. So just keep that in mind. Try not to do that by using either a cloud mine and don't pre-proc alt offensive. Let it have a long cast. Um, the way this works, the way this is going to work is affliction when it's on the target. Affliction will do uh, more damage as long as it's on there with your lightning flash, as well as it will be reset by some of these moves here. We'll put it back on. It'll just keep popping back up, so you'll never have to apply it a second time. The way this works is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and start over. Sometimes you'll have to do four. What you're looking for to see is if Thundering Blast is off cooldown. Uh, sometimes you're going to waste a force barrier to make sure that force speed is ready. Other than that, you might want to save your force barrier for something in the future. But I use it to reset my force speed even in an operation just because I want this full first rotation to be clean as possible. And I reset it and I'll just dodge it from then on out and use it for an emergency of some sort. Um, your static barrier, you might as well put on yourself. Why not? And let's get started. Tank has aggro. That's never coming off. Oops. because it's not ready. It's still not ready, so I'm going to go and hit number five. I don't know why I wasn't ready, but it should be ready from here on out. One cast. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, it's ready. Looks like polarity shift is off cooldown from the four speeds. So go ahead and hit it. One, two, three, four. Recklessness is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it as soon as I come to it. Oh, I'm done. Target's dead. Anyway, so that amount of damage is kind of how you do the class, use the class. Um, it's, it does adequate amount of damage, probably 22k, um, 24k, something like that, somewhere in that range. So um, what you're going to want to do is, that is generally how you use it. The reason why this class is, um, well, I call this class is just not that great, is because they nerfed it in about, in about a year ago, they nerfed it. Uh, Halt Defensive does a little less damage than it used to, and you'll see even on the, on the DPS leaderboards, You'll see the token is this way down here at the bottom. Lightning telekinetics. And even the very, very best players are only doing 30k. Uh, and that's we're talking 340 year, and then even these are probably 340 here. So what I'm showing you is um, is not 340 gear. This is definitely not 340 gear. So you'll do about 22k damage with this kind of rotation. I, I think I messed up a couple times, but uh, let me show you the next way. So this is the third and final way. It's because the damage that um, telekinetics and lightning put out is so low and so just really not that great. What you can do is help where you can. Since you're not that good at 
at damage, you might as well help with healing. So you can use this thing here called Storm Succor. Um, you can go to um, your combat style, just pick right down the middle, and then pick the Volt Rush here and the Immersion here and everything else right down the middle. Uh, you're going to stick with your Halted Offensive. All right, so now, same thing. Very, All of everything else is going to be exactly the same, just very similar. The only difference is you're saving your force speed specifically to get Volt Rush procced. So if you hit force speed at any time, it will give you two Volt Rushes. But if you have three, it doesn't do anything for you. It just it does whatever else force speed does. But if you have zero, it will give you it will give you two. If you have one, it will give you three. So you want to use that force speed only when you're trying to get two of these off it'll give you some extra healing so you'll see that some of the healing that pops out we're talking like 60k heals 80k heals i dare say there's not another class in the game who can heal for this much one of the sorks uh one of the the three sorks sage of uh, six i guess classes but other than that you're not getting that much healing so this is a smart heal and it'll go straight to the person who needs it most all right, so let's get started. We don't have power of the force, so I'm gonna skip it, or I'm sorry, unlimited power. So let's go ahead and start it up. One, two, skip this one. One, two, three. I meant to do this. One, two, one. So it's not as critical to get Lightning Flash and Crushing Darkness and Shock to work as a team. It's not as critical because you're not using Stormwatch at package. So it's good, but you're getting those heals out. So there's two available. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Thunning Blast is ready. So you can set this up however you like. It doesn't really matter as long as you're maximizing the one two for that healing. That's the key is to get that healing to go. Because otherwise you're, you're just, I mean, you're bringing only so much damage. You can only bring so much. One, two, power the force. Ready, might as well hit it. One, two. One, two, three. Same exact rotation as the way you're supposed to use it properly. <laughs> that is a long, a long, such a long path. One, two, one, two, one, two. So this is going to decrease your damage by quite a bit amount. So this is 22k. That was the damage 22k. The other way was 24k. Um, it's you're going to do significant the way I have it set up. Now there's better ways to play it or whatever. This is just um, just a starter. You might as well lean into your strengths which is your range, you, you might as well lean into that, you might as well lean into the uh, healing that you can put out because your gar your damage is just not going to be that great. It's just pretty much garbage. So you might as well help heal while you can. So that's all I have for you. Um, have fun out there, especially with that um, element of affection, just all that AoE damage to, to easy targets, especially when you're running around in heroics. And uh, that's all I got for you.